Hi, hello and welcome back to Formula 1 Randomized, the series where I race random Formula 1 cars from random Formula 1 seasons on random racetracks, be they Formula 1 or otherwise, with a few fictional circuits thrown in there for good measure. Last week we traveled back in time to the distant year of 2013 and went for a few laps around the 1999 San Marino circuit. That was a whole lot of fun, but we have a new challenge, and this week's suggestion comes from a user by the name of Danila Morozov, and they requested I raise the 1987 Zack Speed around the 1956 Buenos Aires circuit. This should be fun, so let's not waste any more time and get to it. And here we are on the grid for this little short race, 4 lap race around the Buenos Aires circuit. We're starting from 20th, as always, with random grids, and we are off, and this is going to be quite interesting. I did a test run, and the AI was kind of weird. Uh, it kept breaking where it shouldn't, it kept slowing down where it shouldn't, so uh, I will have to be quite a bit careful about the AI because it <laughs> it does some very interesting things here. And obviously because I'm sitting so low in the cockpit, and this was this is actually quite um, correct, uh, the cockpit would come up as it does. Uh, the visibility is quite limited, so we need to be quite careful as we get airborne we shouldn't because we have wings but oh well f1 physics who cares right and we move up into 17th can we get 16th can we get around martin brundle uh well we got around derek warwick so that's 16th let's now try for 15th and overtake our teammate there and that is that's one move done we get around the chesaris and John jonathan palmer as well and we're now chasing after Ricardo Patrese. We are sitting nicely in P13 at the moment. And can yes, we overtake Patrese as well. So that's P12 already. We're doing quite well here. As we come through the the penultimate corner here. The hairpin right hander. Right right hand hairpin, sorry. And we come down the hill and the guy in the lotus breaks for whatever reason just as we reach the top of the descent for through that downhill part and i nearly crashed into him i have no idea why you would break there but that's one of the places where the ai breaks without any real reason so uh we really i really need to be careful because the ai is quite suicidal on this track so yeah <laughs> It's really weird. Anyway, we dropped back down to 16th, which isn't very good, as my car goes airborne again. And that, once again, that's something that shouldn't happen, not in these cars anymore, but... Oh well. Can we get around Martin Brundle once again? That would be quite nice as I try to... Ooh, I, I wanted to get around there, but he blocks me, and he blocks me again. Uh, he's just swerving back and forth, that's kind of illegal even for 1987 so let's be careful around here i so finally make a, my way around these a few those cars and we are back up in p13 chasing after ricardo patrese once again as we come through the hairpin once again and heading towards the final corner and this time i decided to slow the car down although i break a little bit too too much lock up my wheels and go for a small little spin and I lose the position but I regain that one really really quickly so that's quite nice as we come through turn one once more and we're slowly catching up to uh, Ricardo Patrese which is quite nice obviously <laughs> so yeah I'm doing quite well I would say I'm 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 being quite efficient at trying to dodge these cars, not to crash into them, as we go airborne once more. <laughs> Again, that shouldn't actually be something that happens in these cars, but... F1 Challenge VB Physics, am I right? <laughs> Anywho, let's see if we can now get around Ricardo Patese, we are right on his gearbox, so shouldn't be too hard that we come into this left right chicane be very very careful this is quite a dangerous part of the track especially in these cars and uh, 
in this this car and track combination and I nearly lost the car there well I actually lost it I was only barely able to catch it so we lost another lost that position but uh, hopefully we'll be able to regain it and if not let's just make sure that we get to the end of the race as we start our final lap here which is nice let's try and see what we can do if we can gain some positions that's okay if we cannot that's okay as well Ricardo Patrese breaks through the middle of that corner for no reason so we get around him that's P12 and we are now approaching Eddie Cheever who is kind of slow but then he speeds back up and then we go for this that part and we go airborne and ran uh, land right on Eddie Cheever's rear wing I have no idea why he braked before the hairpin but well that's his problem now and it looks like we also lost our front wing so that's not very good but we'll try to live with it as we uh, come in behind Satoru Nakajima here in the Lotus Ooh, and there's a car stopped right in the middle of the track why the why would you be stopped in the middle of the track there I have no idea so that could have been costly but uh, well at least we didn't lose any wheels as we come through the final hairpin for one last time and now heading towards the final corner nose rises up as we have no front wing no downforce and here we are coming around to cross the line and finish the race and there are a bunch of cars stopped randomly on the straight there uh, which is kind of dumb I have no idea why you would do that but yeah the AI does quite a lot of dumb stuff on this circuit so uh, somehow we <laughs> managed to get around that and somehow we managed to finish the race so yeah anyway let's move on and take a look at the race result here and we have Nigel Mansell winning the race with Nelson Piquet in second Ay Ayrton Senna third fourth Stefan Johansson fifth Alain Prost and Gerhard Berger is sixth I managed to finish in tenth which is quite nice uh, you know uh, could have been better could have been worse as well so can't really complain about that and here we are scrolling down to the bottom there were uh, five retirements in this race so you know <laughs> there were people who retired as well but that was the 1987 Zack Speed around the 1956 Buenos Aires circuit again it was quite an interesting uh, race although I was a bit annoyed that the air was breaking randomly where it shouldn't have but while well, I had to dodge cars even when I wasn't prepared for it and unfortunately <laughs> there towards the end I once landed on top of I forgot whose car uh, broke his uh, rear wheel and then crashed in a couple of of other cars on the final lap because well they were pretty much stopped on the circuit for no reason uh, but anyway thank you to Danila Morozov for suggesting this car and track combo it was quite fun overall at least so yeah I had fun and don't forget to continue sending in your suggestions as all as I always say the more the merrier but that is it for this week's Formula 1 randomizer I hope to see you all in the next week's show and but until then, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and stay sharp.